And now for some final thoughts on looking up. 400 years ago, Galileo, a mathematician in Venice, Italy, built a telescope of his own design and used it in a way that hardly anybody else at the time thought of. Instead of looking at birds or spying on neighbors, he looked up. He looked up at the sun, moon, and stars. Then and there began a four-century legacy of discovery that would permanently transform our relationship to the universe. Over these years, we went from thinking that Earth was the object of creation, positioned at the center of all motion, to discovering that Earth is but one of many planets, that the Sun is one of hundreds of billions of stars in the Milky Way galaxy, that the Milky Way galaxy is but one of a hundred billion galaxies in the universe. Sounds depressing, but you know what else telescopes have shown us about our place in the universe? They've shown us that we're not somehow separate from the cosmos, we're part of it. The atoms of our bodies were forged in the fires of stars that burned billions of years ago exploding these ingredients into space for subsequent generations of stars to use. This atomic and molecular kinship connects the sun to every other star in the galaxy, it connects Earth to every other planet in orbit around them, and it connects us to any life that may thrive there. So, as we say in my field of science, it's always best to keep looking up. And that is the cosmic perspective. And now, we'd like to hear your perspective on this episode of Nova Science Now. Log on to our website and tell us what you think. You can watch any of these stories again, download additional audio and video, explore interactives, and hear from experts. If you want to get the scoop on upcoming broadcasts and find out what goes on behind the scenes, you can sign up for the weekly e-newsletter at pbs.org. That's our show. We'll see you next time.